Mars originally was devoid of plant life, but thanks to the Traveler's blessing, humans succeeded in sufficiently terraforming Mars to introduce a few hardy plants, including the Martian birch. Due to the severe heat and winds of Mars, the Martian birch lacks leaves and grows only in the shelter of rock formations, which may also provide mineral-rich soil to sustain the trees. Perhaps the absence of such rock formations explains why the birch does not grow in the ruined city of Freehold. Interestingly, there's no record of Golden Age humans cultivating the birch there. uses gunfire to remove the Martian birch's bark, one can see that the wood of the birch is light brown, differing significantly from its cousin on Earth and reflecting its divergent evolution in response to Mars's harsh environment and unique soil qualities. The contrast in color becomes even clearer when comparing the results of firing on a rock with the results of firing on the birch. Although the bark is darkened by the powder burn, the brown color shows through. Nightfall brings new revelations about the birch. First and most obvious, it becomes clear that the Martian birch's dense trunk makes it resilient enough to withstand Mars's cold nights. Second, one can see that the Cabal find the birch to be a useful landmark by which to set up camps and bases, as well as a marker by which to navigate. For those reasons, the Cabal illuminate Martian birches at night. It is also possible that the Cabal light them up for aesthetic reasons. Indeed, seeing the Martian birch against the night stars recalls the visions our ancestors must have enjoyed during the Golden Age when the tree and stars were signs of progress and the internet. Perhaps they will be once again.